Okay, so this lesson is a complementary color uh, wax pencil abstract composition. Okay, so we're going to continue to uh, explore the uh, wet mode and dry mode, the comparison of those two modes of working, right, um, in stages. Um, and we're going to implement our wax pencils, right, to help us develop the form and a design, okay? I've got blue, red, yellow, black, and white wax pencils, okay? Um, I've got all my materials here, my brushes, water, right? Um, and so here's our color wheel, right? So what we want to do here is identify um, what complementary colors we're going to use. I think I'm going to start with our blue-orange, okay, um, complementary color strategy, okay? So, um, we did the primary color uh, abstract composition using the wax pencils, and that was the results, right? So, um, now we're going to... Um, do the blue and orange, okay? Now, the first thing we want to do is uh, tape down our piece of paper. We want to divide um, the page into two equal parts, okay? And again, our tape down job is very important to manage the paper as it absorbs moisture, right? Okay, we want to keep things nice and neat. Okay, all right, and uh, so our the blue is going to be our primary color, right? And orange being a secondary color is our complement to the blue. We'll be mixing the orange, and the orange is mixed by putting together yellow and red, right? So here we go. So the first thing we want to do is we want to um, do a drawing, a design, to uh, establish some form on the page to help us work within that form, okay? So let's take a look. Um, so I'm going to start with my yellow pencil, okay? Um, and we want to create a, a design, okay, that, that would be interesting. Something that tells a story, possibly. Okay. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's uh, maybe a little bit of the blue color. Okay. Okay, and I'm just going to be um, drawing here, creating a form. Right, I'm thinking ahead how I'm going to implement some of this color. Okay. Um, okay. Right, so it's going to be blue and orange. Okay. Let's try a little red here.
Okay. Varying the shapes and so forth. All right, some sort of a... Okay. to use the white um, and if we're not familiar with the technique of sharpening the, the pencil unravels right and then we manage the, the string by just cutting it okay all right so now the white is interesting because it doesn't show up vividly now but then when you um, apply the, the color, it begins to show up because the, the uh, wax pencil resists, right? It resists the, the water color, the water and the color, okay? Okay, and there's my first design, okay? And so now what we're gonna do is um, we're going to uh, lay out some color onto the palette. We're going to be using blue, right? Some blue, and we'll need yellow and red to, to mix our orange, right? So I'm going to put out some fresh red there and some yellow. Okay. Very good. Okay, so um, we set this up. So we'll be practicing this twice. This is our blue and orange um, exercise, right? Those complementary colors, the blue is the primary, orange is the secondary color, right? So the first thing we want to do is we want to wet the surface, right? We're working in a wet modality, first shot around, right? So, and wet means that, um, our application graphically is going to be soft. We're working in the distance, okay? I'm using the nebulizer here to um, initiate some water and then I will use the my paintbrush to distribute the water neatly on the page okay and it's quite a bit of water there so I might it's a technique to maybe sop it up a little bit okay Okay, very good. So, first color I'm gonna use is uh, blue, which is the, a cool color. And remember we identified graphically that the blue is going to um, recede visually, right? Cool colors recede in the space, whereas the hot colors, right, jump out at us, so. We're gonna mm. and you can see how the water is bleeding and it's nice and soft. The color is bleeding into the to the water. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Okay, so we're limited palette, right? Blue and orange. Right, so we're going to be working with the colors interchangeably, right? First level is blue. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to clear up the palette a little bit and mix up our orange and implement our orange and we're still working in our um, wet mode. Okay. All right, so here we go with the with the orange, right? So now the the red is very strong, so we just want to put down a little bit of red and the yellow very vulnerable in color. Okay, so here's a nice orange, right? And so we're going to apply this right into our drawing here. And you can see the browns that are showing up and all those wonderful colors. Right, and let's coax this along a little bit. You can push the color around. See how it's those the complementary color is creating these uh, more achromatic values, the browns. Right, that's that mixture of complementary colors, browns and oranges. Okay. So I'm creating a composition that's telling us a little bit of a story. And see how my application right now, everything is soft. It's bleeding out and stuff like that, right? So we want to use all those secondary colors. Look at those beautiful browns and tans and... Gorgeous. Okay. OK. 
Okay. More saturated values. Okay. So now at this point, we're going to take the um, the hair dryer, the dryer, and we're going to bring this down. So now I'm going to implement a uh, medium-sized brush, right, to um, further develop our uh, image, right? So um, we want to now. I think I'm gonna move back to my um, my blue. Okay, so I'm going to eliminate this from the palette, the orange, just for now. Okay. Right, and we wanna keep our colors clean. As you see, I'm always managing the color properly. Right. And so um, we finished our wet modality of working, right? Now the image is very dry. Our um, application of color is gonna be fairly crisp now, okay? So let's try to, um, okay, get, get some color going here. Okay, so now the idea here is to create um, layers of color, right? So, and to create shapes, okay? And as I overlap these colors, they're gonna create various values, okay? And I'm working with my design, okay? See, and as I overlay the colors, layer them, create these interesting values. This one's um, pretty blue, because I'm kind of, but, but you can see the beautiful gray that's being created, right? So I'm working light to dark also, right? So this particular area I wanna have not really dark. water it down you know creating these compositions a little bit of discovery right so um, I want to work and not destroy some of the the beauty that's already been created um, these different values okay there we go. All right. I notice how I'm just gliding the color in there. I'm not heavy handed. Okay.
increasing the value a little bit on that blue. Okay. Okay, sort of define the the action there. You can see dynamically as I put these cool colors in the in the back of the shape, the the, the warm color pushes forward. Well, that's what we want. Right, integrating the color. Okay. Now let's keep working with the blue. Now we'll go back to the orange. Okay. So we're interchanging the the colors. All right. So maybe I make some sharp shapes here. Kind of working with my existing motifs that I've developed here. Just identifying a couple points of interest. Okay. And this thing can echo that same. Design kind of a thing, okay. All right. Okay, and you can see how you have to kind of foresee what you're going to do a little bit with the design, right? And overlapping the colors creates these secondary and tertiary colors, right? So that's why we're repeating this exercise several times to kind of understand that, experience it, learn it through experience. You can see the effect of transparent effects that you can get. Look at that, I put that orange over that area just with the blue underneath it, it creates this green, right? So let's see what we can do with that. Right? And as we use these complementary colors, you can see the, the sophistication in the color, the design of the color becomes very soothing. The colors are very together, right? 
and that's what we want. We want to create color in our composition that's soothing, that has a harmony to it. And when you use complementary colors like this, the color is, will be inherently harmonious, right? putting orange over the blue and it's creating that green, beautiful color. Okay. Now we want to get a really sharp brush. Okay. And I'm going to work with a deep, deep blue. All right. And I'm going to uh, create a sharp area here with some marks in here. And as I layer the color, there's some achromatic colors that start to appear, right? Creating a sense of movement. And you can see how sometimes I'm working with the wax pencil drawing, sometimes I'm working around it, complementing it. Wax pencil is giving us a little bit of form to work with. Use my slightly larger brush here. That's going to dry back very dark, which is good. That's what I want. Creating those contrasts. Okay. See the transparent effect. All these beautiful colors that so look at all the color and we've using we're using two colors, right? Blue and orange, and look at all these different colors we're coming up with. Incredible, right? Pretty cool. Okay, we're going to continue working. Let's see what happens if I mix up some strong orange. Very dense orange. And put it over this blue here. Hmm. 
nice combination of colors, right? Nice and bright right now. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm going to work with a little bit of a, a blue wash. All right. Uh, I'm going to adjust a couple things. I want to make sure my color is pure, so I'm going to back this off. Back that off. I work with my blue. All right. Right. Uh, I want to knock back some of this value here. Push it in. on a different level, deeper in there, right? Reduce the chromatic aspect of that color. I like that. Nice. Look at all these interesting colors that are coming around. Uh, uh, Wango. Hmm. Things are really suspended. Layering and deepening the color. Okay. Some Deep areas and some light areas, okay? Right, so here we are, we're this was our dry mode working, right? We first started with our wet mode, and now we're coming to the end of our dry mode and coming to the end of completing our first composition using complementary colors, blue and orange. Okay. Can push things back, meaning putting, when I put the cool color over the top, the element recedes as the color becomes less chromatic. It's like a firecracker or something going off, or a flower. Tiger lily, there you go. As we um, try to complete our composition here, all right. Um, let's see. I want to put a. I want to push this area back a little bit. Ooh, nice. Nice and transparent. I'm just gliding the color over the top. Nothing too crazy. OK. 
Okay, very good. Right, and you can see the way the wax pencil plays the role, right? We're working with the drawing and placing the hot and colors strategically, right? Um, as we see the the hot colors, the, being the oranges, are coming towards us. The blues are receding, right? And so now we're going to dry this a little bit and we will go on to our next composition. Okay, so here we are. Um, I've cleaned up the... Uh, I've got clean water. I've got clean brushes. Um, I have my color wheel, right? And we're gonna continue to work with blue and orange being the complementary colors. You see that? And you can see all the, and we used two colors to create this and look at all the different colors we have, right? And there is a, a synergy, a cohesiveness in the color because we're using the complementary colors, right? And so let's pursue that. Let's practice that once more, right? So, um, I am going to implement my uh, my wax pencils, okay, um, with my white one, okay, and so let's try using the the um, the red one, okay, uh, the red, yellow, and white. How about that? Okay, so. This is our composition space here, right? We're gonna try to do something a little different, right? So let's, okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's see where this goes, right? So Right, we're just inventing some sort of form. Okay. A form to work with to implement our color, right, a form to help us locate the color, okay, okay, <clears throat> now let's uh, implement some of that that white. Okay. And I'm going to strategically put it in between all these movements. You can't really see it right now, but it's going to appear nicely. Okay. Now, Okay, so our first mode of working is wet, right? So let's get the nebulizer. Um, I wanna grab a, 
a shield so that when I spray, right, I don't ruin that painting. Maybe not as much water this time around. Okay, and I wanna spread the water. Right, I'm gonna work cool first. Or right, let's let's try working hot the first time around, okay? So we're gonna start working with our hot, our warm color, and that's gonna be the orange, right? So let's go. So that's and yeah, orange is a secondary color, right? So it's got a little yellow and red. All right, and there's our orange. And while the page is wet, it's gonna bleed beautifully, right? So we're gonna take the time to create this bleed. And we're gonna bleed it everywhere. Hmm. Not very uh, wet there anymore. Hmm. Whoops, okay. You can see how strong the red is here. All right. I'm working soft. I'm gonna establish that orange pretty, pretty well here. Okay, so as the paper is still a little bit wet, we're going to switch, we're in our wet modality, right? And we're going to switch to our blue. I've established some uh, orange. Actually, while I have the orange down, I'm gonna just goose it in areas, give it a little bit more definition. Just putting down a little bit more color. Okay, and now we're gonna work with the blue. So I'm gonna push back the orange, okay? And now I'm going to, right, work with the blue. And I'm going to put the blue sort of in, in the background, place it strategically in the back. I should probably put in Put on some fresh blue so it's readily accessible. All right. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to work it transparently. And the paper's still pretty wet. You can see it colors bleeding together nicely. Mm. 
basement. You can see these greens showing up, browns. Achromatic colors, right? We're using the complement, reducing these values. Okay, and so here we have. Um, the conclusion of the wet mode of working right on this particular piece right so now I'm going to dry okay so now we've entered the phase of working um, with a dry surface now, right? So things are gonna be sharper, right? See how nice and soft the first application is. The colors are um, a lot less chromatic in this particular composition. So let's just identify a couple of the, since I have the blue down right now, let's work with the blue. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, um, Define these shapes a little bit more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. The yellow and blue work great together. Okay. Okay, very good. Now, let's um, switch gears a little bit. And uh, we're going to apply some of our very chromatic orange. So I'm going to push the blue back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I want to keep the palette nice and clean so the color's pure, right? We're using the pure primary colors. Okay, so now I want to, I want to mix up an orange. So I'm going to lay out some fresh yellow. Lovely, okay. And I have plenty of red there, so... Let's go. I'm going to go with a medium brush and I want to, the yellow is very, very uh, susceptible to the, to the red. So, oops, I might have, as I speak, I, oh no, I'm good. I thought I had used too much red already out of the box. Okay. There's our orange. Okay. Now, nah, here we go. No, not, I like the fact that it's nice and dense because we're going to, we're going to uh, put in a, a saturated color. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna touch in, we're gonna use a lot of water and we're going to just touch in some oranges where we feel there's necessary to increase the chroma, almost like. Mm. Just in a couple of spots.
Okay. Go in there with a little touch up with the wax pencil if you ever need to. Okay. Now, let's back off the orange again and go back to the blue. Okay. Deck is cleared for the blue. Let's uh, switch to our clean. All right. Right, now you can see where where I'm going with this composition.
vibration of the color. Okay, so here we are um, continuing to uh, develop this drawing, right? Painting. We're working in the dry mode, right? Um, and let's continue to... So we're working in the orange and blue Right, we're adding value, working in a dry mode right now. So. Deepening the values. And you can see how I'm using um, like layers soft layers to develop the values and you can see the roll of the color we're working with the blue and we're placing it in the distance and the, the blue is working for us, right? Uh, reducing the value.
as we layer the blue over the orange, you can see that the, um, the character of the color is changed and it's reduced to an achromatic, like a gray. That's what we want, right? And as we create these grays, the bright areas remain.
Okay, so now we're trying to finish this baby up. Um, increasing the values to the point to where the story is told and the image is complete. Okay. Um, I can work with a little bit of orange at this point. Uh, okay, pushing back the orange, the uh, the blue, and we're gonna mix up some orange. So we got red and yellow. Creating that orange. There we go. Softening the edges on some of this stuff. Alrighty. Where's my sharp brush? Okay. Okay, so here we are. Um, a couple more details that we want to create. And so this is our orange, orange and blue, right? Complementary colors. Okay, so here we are, right? We worked in soft, wet mode, 
in the beginning and then as the images uh, and then we dried the image and then worked in a in a in a dry mode creating the detail that we wanted okay and so here we are two designs complementary colors and if you look at this the uh, the assembly of color right so we have our primary color um, blue and then we have a secondary orange and those are the complements and when the colors come together they create these tertiary colors right and there's a certain cohesion in the uh, assemblance of these colors right the nuances and so forth so that's what we're looking at here right so good experience and so we're going to remove our um, our tape okay carefully I love this um, stage of the creative process, right? Um, the revealing the nice sharp edges here. Have to be careful not to rip the drawing. Okay. All right, very good. And so here we are. And we have our, so this is our uh, complementary. color, wax, pencil, abstract, composition. Okay, and your work should be labeled as such. Okay, very good.